everybody, it's Sophie and Marco, Dish Out on the Movies, and I am driving right now, turning left, just got the green light arrow, now I want to go to the dollar store, because I have to get a soda for lunch. Sophie. What? And I it's time over on the right. to talk about uh, something. Oh, I have to do that. So, Sophie. Pulling, I'm turning right again, going into the dollar <laughs> yes, store. I did. Parking lot. I did. <laughs> pay attention doing this i don't want to get into a car accident yeah we have to talk about the subject matter okay like, we're going to talk okay. about something which i have a no idea what the subject matter is but i'm going to pull into a parking spot talking about no don't do that Why? Da, I, da, da, don't say anything i'm not saying anything i'm don't, just saying i'm gonna park period okay no, i'm okay. not driving okay Turn off the car. Just, just, just it, leave it on. Okay. I, I, my phone is low on battery. Okay. Just, just go ahead and go get your snackums, and I'll I'm introduce just the drink. subject. Because. You want anything? No. Okay. Just gonna get. A let's talk. Let's talk about the subject matter. Drink for lunch. The subject matter is very important. Yeah. So you won't tell what it is while I'm in the car. That's because I have to properly introduce it. So everyone, I am here to talk about Goosebumps. This might possibly be my last Goosebumps video. I really have no tolerance for this type of shit that R.L. Stein has pulled and that Scholastic Books has pulled. And uh, it is very, very displeasing and annoying and disgusting and sickening and just a whole other bunch of words that you could use to describe you know because uh, that's something where you know i could use pretty much any words to describe it and you guys would be like yeah i can see what you're saying but oh no words if if it's anything that 2023 has told us is that words are words are bad and you can't say certain words to certain different types of people because they'll have a problem with it, apparently. Um, which isn't true, by the way. I mean, I don't see any evidence of that. I mean, I've never heard of... Oh, wait, there was, that, there was this one girly boy reviewer, and I'm not saying, like, he was transgender. He was just very, very girly and really... Uh, really bad and he complained about uh say cheese and die again and called it fat phobic and all this bullshit and i always find it funny because the people who say these types of things and say that everything is offensive and everything is bad they're always the people who aren't the people that they're talking about you know like this girly boy reviewer he's not fat at all so he has no right to speak for people who are fat. And I am fat, by the way, and I, I'm fine with admitting it. Uh, I'm working on it, and I lost uh, 40 pounds already, and I'm already working on progressively uh, losing more weight. And uh, so I can speak for fat people. And you know what? Arl Stein is, has made the ultimate simp move. He is changing and censoring his own books. His own books, his own legacy, Goosebumps books. He's changing them so that he can make them uh, more sensitive for the sensitive kids. Let me tell you something. I was a fat kid as well. Well, I wasn't fat until like, let's see the third grade, fourth grade, uh, when I started discovering snacks, and I didn't give a fuck. So that should tell you all that you need to know. And now let's, let's hear Safi's side of the story. Safi, you yes. ready to finally talk about the subject matter? Well, I can't wait. Get in, get in the car. I'm trying to, Marco. Just hurry, close the door. <laughs> God, are you weird? Hey, Safi, you got like fucking ten chins right now. Really, Marco? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Safi. Oh, 
Are you ready to talk about the subject matter? Okay, let's go, because I have to go to the post office now. Safi with the... I mean, not Safi. Uh, R.L. Stein, Uh-oh. with with the aid of shit-lastic books, is going back to all of his old Goosebumps books and censoring them. What? And taking out certain sensitive words that like people what? people have decided that certain words and phrases are too offensive for people to be reading. What? And, oh, oh, well, there's this one book where they say that a guy has six chins, like I just said about you. Which you do. I mean, let's count them. One, what two, three, doing? four. You got like six or seven chins no, going I on, don't. Sophie. It's it's ridiculous. God, I can't believe it. it looked like a concentration camp victim for the last ten years because I've been taking this medication, this chemotherapy medication. I finally get off of it and I, I gain some weight because I needed to gain some weight. It really looked awful. I look sicker really? than I was. And anyway, now I gained some weight. I Do that. Just leave it alone. Yeah, leave it alone, simp. And and so he's changing. Like uh, instead of calling someone fat, he's going to call them plump or portly. What? Well, it's the same a, thing. A portly individual. Should, and then the kids don't talk that way. They don't say the word portly. No, they say fat. They say that kid is a oh, fat oh, fuck. You're hurting my ears. Well, they don't say they. That would be the word, but they, that portly. I mean, that's an old fashioned word. They say, word. "They say, damn, did you see that fat girl? Oh God!" Marco, don't do that. That's what they say. Don't do that. That's what kids say. I said, "Don't, don't be, don't scream." That's what kids say, Safi. Okay. This fucking oh, this Marco, fucking don't kill. We're talking about the subject matter, Safi. You don't need to scream. Yeah, we do. We need to. Th- this is a topic where we do need to scream, why, which is why. Why did he we, decide to do that on his own, or was he told to do it? They scholastic shit, lastic books must have put a gun to his head. Oh, well, you don't know and that said, for sure. You will be changing the books because, and this is why, because these fucking retards in England. They have now decided to come up with new editions of classic books like Matilda and Willy Wonka, and they've decided to take out sensitive words because they're offensive to people. And so now, shitlastic books, they think that R.L. St- R.L. Simp should do the same thing with Goosebumps books. Mm. And so now for all the new reprintings, they will all be changed and altered to fit the new climate of people being offended over everything, even though they're not. Safi, w- w- when was the last time that somebody complained that a Goosebumps book was offensive? God, I've never heard of that. Like a kid, like a kid as well, like... It like a, a ten year old kid reading a Goosebumps book. Oh no, I didn't like in the book that oh, they called that kid a black kid because that means it's racist. I don't, do they even say that? Safi, apparently one of the triggering lines is that uh, somebody says that a kid looks like a rapper from MTV. Apparently that's very offensive that because the Eminem. What the hell? And and also, it's like, if a kid saw someone on TV and they liked them and wanted to emulate them, that's never happened before. (sighs) Like, just because it has to do with black people and rappers means it's suddenly offensive? There's also white rappers, too. They're mainly African Uh, There's There's Mexican rappers, there's Asian rappers. Yeah. There's 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 white rappers who think they're black too. Have you ever heard of that, Safi? Yeah, People so identify sh- as black don't be so nowadays. Bad. Okay, whatever. Let's and let's say, and and another thing like there's this one part where they he says that Slappy gives a girl a, a little love tap 
Oh, no. We can't have that in a Goosebumps book. Oh, no. People are going to find that offensive. What do you think of that, Safi? What do you... I just think that's weird. I don't understand it. It's really, really weird. Do you think that they go back and change Shakespeare because it's offensive or... Oh, they want to. Okay, well, I'm going to go now. They, They say that Henry V was never fat. I don't know. He, I don't he know was. About he him. was. He was objectively a fat fuck. Okay, you don't need to swear and you don't need to be wow. Well, let's let's just continue with this topic, Safi, okay, because I'm trying to watch for this car coming. Yeah, just drive. You, you, you didn't have to even drive. We could have just sat there and I finished don't sit there the we're fucking video. Well, we have to f- we have to finish like, the video. Well, we can finish the video while I'm driving to the post office. Uh, don't do that. I have to. People could think you're the the Unabomber or something. Well, you know, Safi, like, it may be that's triggering, and people will be offended you're going to the post office because, you know, maybe uh, you can only go to the post office if you're a certain race or well, something. I ba- like, I, I don't know. I have a business that's hanging by a thread, Oh, well, so. businesses are offensive, too, because certain people can't afford to start a business, so that means that you shouldn't say the word business. Well, I don't know what else to call it. It's a business. So. Oh, I'm going to have to pay income tax. I'm going to go cry. I'm going to go cry to shitlastic books and tell them that they should go back and re-edit all their books. I have a lot of... They would have to have a lot of books. I have, like, Henry... uh, Is it Henry Huggins? And Ramona Beasley and all those... Henry Henry Huggins? Uh Uh-oh. Is he asking for consent before he hugs people? Safi? I'm saying is there's things in there that are uh, they're old school. Oh, I remember. I'm well, not, I'm not gonna say. Maybe anything. maybe we should just throw them in a bonfire. Then they'd like that. These fucking retards would okay, like that. Let's not do that. That's let's what they are, Safi. Like that. I don't care. That's what they are. Okay, well it's just stupid. These people need to be shamed and mocked and embarrassed and humiliated and put out of the public light and told to shut the fuck up. And let people enjoy Goosebumps because I am no longer going to be supporting Goosebumps. I'm not going to be telling people to watch or read Goosebumps. I'm not going to be uh, watching a new shitty ass fucking Disney Plus Goosebumps series. I'm not going to be reading old Goosebumps books. Which, by the way, I have the old Goosebumps books. And, And you know what people should do? They should print out copies and sell the pirated versions of them and call them the manly Goosebumps versions, not the pussified Goosebumps versions okay, that they're making that's now. now. That's enough. That's not enough, yeah, Safi. That's enough. Don't Let, just let's... keep going on. You're just, you're just repeating yourself. Re- oh, really? Yeah, come on, Marco. How many times in this word have I said... Can you just make the announcement and say that you're... Just totally against it. It's ridiculous. You don't understand it, which is why don't you say that too? I am. You, you didn't say it's it. You're ridiculous. like America, it's stupid. Stop talking about it because it's, you've done it now. Well, you're just being so loud. Well, why don't you get loud? I don't want to get loud. Oh, you know what people are saying though? Adults have no right to read Goosebumps. Oh God. And you know what's hilarious, Safi? Is that adults are adults literally are read to their children? Adults are the one who buys the books. Oh, yeah, that's true. Adults are the ones who read the books too. Goosebumps. This is just another sign that scholastic shitlastic books are all simp. They are totally out of out of uh. Well, they've gone Florida. Out of the loop with their audience. They don't know their audience. Because the majority of people who read Goosebumps are adults. Kids don't... I mean, kids read Goosebumps because their parents make them read Goosebumps. Like, 
Kids don't just magically get into goosebumps. You know why, Safi? Because they changed the covers back in the day, too. And now all the covers suck, too. And the covers look like a fucking kindergartner drew them. They look like complete shit. They look like trash. They don't look like an artist drew them like the original Goosebumps books covers. So kids don't go and say, Oh, wow, a Goosebumps look really good. No, their parents do, because the parents read them, and the parents want to read them again, too. What do you think of that, Safi? I mean, that was one of the things Goosebumps was known for, was having covers that looked awesome. And they changed them, and they ruined them, because they said, It has to be updated, because the older covers, they're not modern anymore. Like, God! Whatever that means. So, Safi, what do you have to say about this mental retardation? Okay, first of all, you don't say any of that kind of stuff. It's It's true. It's true. It's stupid. We're going uh, Florida Republican with that. I'm sorry, but that's what they've been doing in in, uh, Florida is banning books, burning books, taking them off the shelves. And so I guess they don't want that to happen, so they're taking... I mean, instead of instead of doing that, they should be fighting that. Instead yeah. of succumbing to They should be that. saying, no, we are not going to change any books. No, we are not I going to edit the writing. I think that's what they're doing. To suit these fucking deluded freaks and these fucking weirdos who don't even make up any percentage of the population. When's the last time you heard someone complain about a Goosebumps book by saying that it was... It was discriminatory because it said that a black kid looked like a rapper on MTV. You know what else they're removing, Safi? They gave another example. What? There's a line in Say Cheese and Die Again where they say that the girls had crushes on the school master, that the headmaster of the school, that line is offensive now. Really? What do you think of that, Safi? People can't handle that don't be so loud you could have left us at the dollar store parking lot Safi you didn't have to take us to the post office we We could have finished the video let's finish it now no there's one last thing people are saying they're glad that the Goosebumps books are being raped and destroyed because don't be so loud because at least R.L. Simp is doing it himself you know, the creator of the book series, you know. Yeah, it, that's why I'd like it, to talk to him. It, at, least, at least he's the one who's raping and destroying his own books. You know, it's funny. It's like, that's like saying, you know what, Safi? It's good that Nicole Brown Simpson died because her, her ex-husband killed her. <laughs> what? Right? What? You know, what Nicole, about? That's, it's the same type of thing. It's like, oh, it's a good thing that uh, the Goosebumps books are being ruined and changed and censored and edited for a non-existent group of dipshits because at least R.L. Stein did it. Oh. Okay, well, that's stupid. Yeah, that's that's, stupid. that's really Actually, I dumb. I would like you to do some more research and see what he says about it. Oh, he hasn't said anything. Okay, they well, they got a fucking gun to his head. They got him locked up. They've got him tied up and they said, uh, "We are not we're going to cancel you, RL Simp, because you're a white man." And so we'll just cancel you and call all the Goosebumps books problematic now, unless you make all these fucking stupid changes that nobody fucking wants. Okay, you can stop swearing now. No! What, well, what's I gonna do? What, what are you doing? This is a topic okay, that, well, de- I would like that to deserves... Contact, I would like to contact R.L. Stein and ask him as a, like, in a because I've done this before. I was a writer for several years. And so. say, what are you thinking? Unless shit-lastic books... Unless shit-lastic books has him locked up without food, water, or toilet. There is no reason that he should be destroying his books. Because he just lost an entire customer base of people. Who don't want to put up with this shit. And we're not going to put up with this shit anymore. Do you think that it's good that we're not going to review Goosebumps, Safi? Do you think that that's a proper uh, that's too bad. decision? It's too bad. It's a shame. 
because uh, it's a you know it's something that kids read now or they have for kids to read I don't know if they've necessarily been good books though you've read them more than I have and um, you don't seem very happy with the way they've been doing some of the stories well I mean the modern ones are trash well, but I mean the, I mean like the you know the old the, the good ones from the the old days back when you know a man wrote them and not a, a little bitch whatever but no I would like to contact him if you can't find anything that he said about him I'd like to contact him and see what he says and we'll report back to you it could be that he might say something that it wouldn't be on the record I don't know yeah, we might find out that he is locked in a room without food, water, or I toilet. That. But he's made, I would think he's made millions of dollars. That would be, Safi, that, that, that would be the only reason that I would excuse this shit with. Okay. The only excuse that I would take. I would think, and that would be, uh, I, to go through every single book he's done and look yeah. for, yeah. look for, yeah. I mean, you would be... All the books. You would be going crazy. Yeah. Trying to find every little thing Sick that might it. be inflammatory to somebody. Oh, and then 30 years, oh, well, I'll have to go back again. Or, no, oh, he'll be dead by then, so another person will go in there. Oh. And, you know, it, it's never too late to change things. And it's like, well, wait a second. What needs to be changed? None of it. That That's another thing, too. None of that shit that we talked about needs to be changed. I don't think so either. Um, you know, that very famous Christmas movie um, is a wonderful life. They actually had a negative ending to it and they did focus groups and the people in the audience didn't like the ending. Yeah, they the listened to their audience. Yeah. They listened to them and... Goosebumps a, doesn't. It's been a classic ever since. Goosebumps doesn't. Well, I don't know if they've even tried to do that. They don't listen to their audience. I don't know. I, I mean... The audience the told them... Plastic books owned by the state of Florida or something? Well, or, let's, I mean, let's, what's the deal? Let's go through the history. The audience said, we think the covers of Goosebumps are the best parts of the books. Right. And what did they, what did they do? They take them away, change them, get a whole new artist who sucks, he doesn't do anything good, uh, make shitty, bullshit, modern covers that no one likes. Well, I could see them updating the covers, and you could be, you could have the old ones and the new ones both available. Um, I mean, why? Why? I don't know, because it's, it has been, you know, Jim... Marco's older brother what, to, read these when he was in first grade. What, so that they can squeeze money out of people who like to collect all the different kinds of covers because they're, they got obsessive compulsive disorder? I don't know. I don't know. Is that what you're talking about? No, no I wasn't even thinking about that. I was well, just I, thinking I, about uh, any... I'm thinking I mean, about the I, audience. I'm just even <laughs> thinking about Huckleberry Finn. Oh, well, the, they've changed that a lot, they too, for people. They've changed the cover many, 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 many times. And not, you know, and so, way before this year or last year, way before that, they've changed because I've seen them. Okay, so let's go Let's go down the line. Let's, and then they make a Goosebumps movie. Uh, and everyone says this movie's childish, it's babyish. Goosebumps, more like pussy bumps. Mark, uh, i got to stop saying that. Well, it does. It sounds like it's an S. It's, it award. sounds like an STD. So I, I'll probably not call it that. But and, and then go, what do they do? Do they listen to the audience and make a sequel that's darker, more adult, and more mature? For the people who read it when they were little kids, and now they're thirty-four years old. Oh no, they don't do that. <laughs> they make a second movie that's even more babyish and childish and immature. That's what they do. Trying to appeal to a new audience, but... And then what do they do? What and about then, the old audience? They have a great old fan base. Yeah, that, that's there. their whole fan base now. The, their whole fan base are people who are like 18 to 35. That's their audience now. Their audience has evolved. They say all this shit about you have to ev you have to evolve with the times. If people have decided that words are too 
harmful to them, then you have to decide. You you have to agree. What oh did well, do go through every single. I mean, scholastic. Yeah, that's what he's doing. A ton. That's that's books. what R.L. Simp is doing. He's going back and raping all of his old books and ruining okay, them. I think. Okay, well, that's. I would like to contact him and see if he'll. Uh, uh, tell me why he's doing that because I can't even imagine he's read a lot of books yeah going back through every single one of them page by page by page what a ugh, what a waste of time yeah it's sickening okay so well, anyways okay oh you you just go I, inside because I'll finish up the video hopefully Marco will I'll stop conclude it and I will conclude it okay and everybody goodbye I'm gonna go I will ship out my package when here. I conclude the video I won't use a single swear word <laughs> yeah right. I, I'll censor myself yeah, like RL simp I'd love to see that really <laughs> I don't think so it would sound like a sc- school book report Likes that. Oh, I don't give a fuck about YouTube. So anyway, <laughs> just use the swear word. Okay, so in all seriousness, this is a change that was basically targeted at a younger version of me. And I'll tell you something. This shit is what pissed me off as a kid. This shit would have pissed me off just as much as, like, uh, you know, the opposite of, like, if they made a book that was just to bully me as a kid because I was fat. And just because they're making these changes doesn't mean anything. It doesn't change uh, any anything. Like, it doesn't make it better as a fat kid you know, I read Goosebumps as a, as uh, as being a fat kid. I didn't care. I was a man. You know, I didn't care about this type of crap. Okay, I didn't care. You know what I did care about? Care about? I cared about real problems. You know, like actual problems, not like these first world problems that people care about nowadays. I cared about. The fact that when I went to school, I had people spread rumors about me that that were completely baseless and didn't have anything to them at all, and they called me creepy, and they made it to where I couldn't have a relationship, I couldn't make friends, and I couldn't get get into anywhere. I care about I cared about that. Okay, I didn't care about reading a Goosebumps book and seeing that a character in the book had six chins. I didn't give a flying fuck. And I, I don't think that anyone should give a flying fuck about that. So anyways, Safi is returning, so she's going to be really mad I didn't conclude the video. Okay, Safi, so... so I just talked to our local, one of our local librarians who happened to be on the road taking stuff in the mail to the post office, and she had heard about this, and she does not understand oh, why she's see? doing that either. See, everyone? But she had seen that, too. See? The librarians don't like it either. God, who who are they appeasing? Who are the invisible people that Arl Stein is appeasing? Well, I asked her who she thought they were, but she said she didn't know either. Oh, what do you know? Even the library doesn't know what our all simp is up to in his shitty pussy bumps books. Okay. Okay, so do you think it's right? Do you do you really think we should stop reviewing the Goosebumps, Safi, though? Do you think that that is a, an appropriate I don't think decision? he should do that. I think he should stop himself. Maybe he's already no, started do you think doing that, it. Do you think that we should stop reviewing Goosebumps until he decides to not do it? Yeah, we could. I don't like okay. this. I don't like this. Yeah, I, I don't like it either. I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm not putting up with it. This is uh, one of the few issues where I'll say, no, I'm putting my foot down. Not doing it. So anyways, Safi? Well, I guess if you like this video, you can like and subscribe. We appreciate all new subscribers. I haven't been saying that lately. I'm forgetting. And I watch YouTube all the time. People say it all the time. And I don't know if it's best to say it at the beginning of the video or saying at the end. Because if I said it at the beginning, then I w- it would be all set. So, uh, but I, it, sound, it seems better to say it at the end. So, I'll, I'll try to keep, I'll try to remember. <coughs> and, uh, 
and do it so I apologize for not doing that I do I have always meant for a video too I hope if you like it to press the like button and if you want to be one of our subscribers we appreciate all new subscribers we welcome commentary and if you want to say to tell Marco to stop swearing and yelling even though I know he's really mad and that's why he's doing but still I don't think it's a good thing because it's just the whole thing's a bad thing anyway you don't you need to make it worse it's a bad thing because why would you censor your and, and, and to me the work that would go in into that looking at every single page of the book books to see what would be inflammatory what isn't inflammatory I mean, some things are will bother... Safi, you're not going to believe this, but they are changing a description of an alien in one of the Goosebumps books because the, of calling the alien really tall. <laughs> <laughs> they are changing the description of a, of a non-existent alien creature. <laughs> what do you think of that, Safi? That's pretty bad. I mean, that's Weird. just... That's really gay. Okay, so, so, Safi, you have to, you know. So, I don't know what else to say. I, um, I, that's weird because I don't think any aliens are going to come down from their planets <laughs> to complain about the way they're described. I mean, you kind of look like an alien, yeah, though, Yeah, I look like an alien. <laughs> I, I mean, people, See, that's hilarious. People have to make up things about aliens because <laughs> we've never seen one. Or at least we don't think we have. Or if if you believe it, the thing about uh, my man, the West when they had that. Uh, all those women with plastic surgery look like aliens, Safi. Yeah, I don't like that either. Like Madonna, she looks like a fucking I don't alien. Know what is going on? She well, looks disgusting. People look are shocked. I just don't know. I I don't know. She's as old as me, and I have some wrinkles, so I think that she just can't stand it. She's got the money has the money and but I wouldn't want to do it makes you look like a different person yeah, she people looks, don't even know who you are she looks like one of Slappy's bitches or something I, I mean people that's how bad she her looks real, her real close fans were like going what's going on how could she do that to herself yeah that's really bad so it's not I'm not saying something to uh, that's be that's me mean. I'm well, just saying you're just stating a fact. You're just stating an objective it, it doesn't fact. Look good. It doesn't it look good. Doesn't look good. It looks terrible. So anyway, um, just that's just an example. Aliens. I mean, Madonna. Somebody. Everybody knows who that is. But an alien from another planet. People just use their imaginations to, uh, you know, describe something imaginary in their head. It was. It's just like Harry Potter. The, all of that stuff came out of that lady's imagination. And she, she had a pretty good imagination. She's made a fortune from it. And uh, that's what that is. And so why would you change anything about aliens? Who's Who cares? They don't care. <laughs> They're not coming down to complain. I don't like the way you represent me in the book. <laughs> 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 you know, I just can't imagine. I mean, that, that's like you a, get a ring at your doorbell, and you open it up, and this little whatever green person standing there going, "I don't like the way you wrote me in the book." Guys, <laughs> or they they don't even make. A, just think about. Oh, um, well, that's like that's like a plot to like a, a Goosebumps book, though. Like having like a monster go to RL, RL Simp and tell him like. That he's dissatisfied with how he represented monsters in the book, like that's like a that's like a book plot. That's not like a real life thing. Like that, that's like a fictional thing. The only time, as a writer, when I've like changed things in articles, I would call up the person I wrote about because I may not have gotten the fact, whatever it was, fact facts in the in the article right. And so I would read it back to them to make sure that I correctly said that. In other words, meaning, yes, they did uh, do that in what year, or they used some kind of substance because it, it was this was arts, and um, or they, you know, like a singer, an opera singer, what they did to prepare for their performance, you know, how they did it. Just to see, make sure I said that correctly. 
because if it's incorrectly, I mean, it's just not right. It's it's not a lie, but it's just not the truth because it's just it wasn't um, it was not written properly. So, and they've always everybody that I've done that is appreciated, but it's never been to censor. It's just been to make sure the facts are correctly stated. But those were different informational. They, those weren't fictionalized accounts of anything. Those were real articles about real life subjects. And, um, but the thing is, I mean, I can't even imagine him going back to every single book. I mean, I think about all the, we don't even have all the books. And, uh, to think that he would go back and every single page, uh, it just, and I can't imagine, to me, that would, like, turn my stomach if I was an author having to do that and thinking about the purpose and, of and it. And just thinking and who about... who we're appeasing. I don't know who, do, who we're appeasing. No one. And no one. This this is this has got to stop because uh, this fascism that's hit our... Uh, they talk about woke. Well, this is called... This isn't woke. or I don't know what it is. It's fascist because you're trying to control... Uh, creativity because you think it's going to offend somebody but you don't really know you don't know if that offends somebody because apparently I mean yeah like a, a fat person like he'll have to find different terms to describe their personality well, nobody, so nobody. so like Safi instead of calling a fat person a fat person which are objectively are or aren't he's going to say they're a good eater as if that's like any better, <laughs> like say, or like uh, you could probably come up with tons of joke examples. Like, uh, like one of those monsters who eats people. He he's not a he's not a monster. He's he's just different. Oh my god! Yeah, like that. That's that's the insanity that okay, R.L. Well, Simp is capable of. You tell us what to. you think about it, and hopefully you uh, tell Marco to stop swearing like that. It's not good. And that if you don't like it, you just don't like it. And why don't you like it? And why do you think he's doing it? And uh, when when did you find this out? Today? This Yesterday. Morning? Oh. I wasn't going to make a video about it, but I decided no, I, think I it's would. it's good because yeah. I didn't know what the, I didn't see anything about it. Sickening. So anyway, remember, if you like it, if you like the video, uh, please, or the audio, whatever you want to call it, uh, please give it a like, but you also leave a comment about what you think about it. So? And, uh... You just refuse to say fucking goodbye, Sophie! Goodbye, everybody! Bye.